I don't know about you, but to me, sometimes it seems like the world is going crazy, right? These record high temperatures we're seeing, um, global warming, the rollback of, of rights across the world, authoritarianism on the rise, a war in Europe. There's a lot of disturbing stuff going on. And so how do we maintain balance in the midst of it? Well, balance is really what self-compassion is all about. It's the heart of self-compassion, particularly balance between fierce and tender self-compassion. So as hopefully you know, tender self-compassion is about acceptance, accepting ourselves, our limitations, accepting the fact that the world's an imperfect place. Fierce self-compassion is about um, taking action, trying to make a change, standing up for ourselves, saying no. And we need them in balance to create a type of caring force because if our force isn't caring, <laughs> there can be problems. If we're too fierce, if we're too much about making change, well, and without enough tender acceptance of people, we might start dehumanizing others, you know, creating the world into us versus them, which just adds to the problem. On the other hand, if we're too accepting, oh, everyone's just doing the best they can and not really doing much about it, well then take global warming for an example. Nothing's being done, right? So we need to balance action with acceptance and that's caring for us. And it is a practice, right? It is a messy process. We're gonna fall down over and over again. So really self-compassion is this process of trying to come back to center when we are maybe too complacent, not doing enough, when we're too accepting of situations or behaviors which are causing harm, we try to call up courage to take action. And when we find ourselves starting to dehumanize others or create divisions between self and other, then we go back to trying to remember that we are all human beings and we're all worthy of respect and kindness. And so this is the path of self-compassion. It can be tricky. Um, but it can be done, that's the good news. It can be done when we open our hearts to ourselves and the world, we can find the type of caring force needed not only to correct things in our own life, but hopefully restore some sanity to the world around us. Um, wish us all luck in this big endeavor. Thank you.